train yourself to be deeper in your Christian life. To be born again is a spiritual miracle. But to be strong in the Lord is a journey. You can't be born now and you become strong. You grow into being strong is a journey. To be born again is a spiritual miracle. But to become strong in the Lord is a journey. It takes a lot of things. It must be a choice. You must make a deliberate decision to be a strong Christian. It must be intentional. It must be deliberate. Not to be a weak Christian. Some people are already hot, but they need to be hotter. Nobody becomes a champion accidentally. Anybody that becomes a strong Christian, it must be a deliberate action. A deliberate intentional move. There must be a decision inside, secretly. If you want to be a strong Christian, develop a deeper Christian life through the world. I told you that it's a journey. It's not an instant something. It's something you are practicing and because you have already decided I must be a strong Christian. What will it take me? It, it will take me transforming my life to the standard of the world. Acts chapter 20, 32 said, I commend you to the word of his grace. For you to do that, you must have a very consistent study life. Don't stumble into the scripture. No, don't stumble. It must be intentional. It must be a decision. And you know one thing about the Bible? It does two things. It keeps you away from sin. And it keeps sin away from you. How does a man do it? By going through his word. I hope you know that when we pray in church, that is not your prayer life. If it is in this world that our hope of becoming Christian begins and ends, he said we are most of all men frustrated. Just ask yourself, if the trumpet sounds now, is there anything around me that can stop me from making heaven? Always ask that kind of question. Secondly, anytime the Holy Spirit rebukes you on anything, ask him for forgiveness. Don't ask for forgiveness religiously. Focus on growing in righteousness. But anytime the Holy Spirit confronts you, you repent. It's more effective than every time in a belly. In no. That's why you must always be open. Be an open book before the Holy Spirit. 